Avengers. Um, this is long overdue, but I am out here um, getting ready to pick some tomatoes. Jerry, why don't you come in and show them how uh, crazy these cherry tomatoes are. So we keep telling you guys, this is like um, a, a daily basis. So we have so many cherry tomatoes um, coming every day, and you can see we have just a ton of them. So I'm getting ready to pick some, but we thought that what we would do is um, kind of walk you through a little bit about our garden and um, some of the things that we planted. Now some of the things you're going to see have kind of been picked through um, and then we're going to do a second round of things as we get through the season because we are in um, July. <laughs> um, so we can do another round of things. We'll, we'll kind of um, maneuver through and talk to you as we go. So um, I've picked some of these and I'll kind of pick them as I go through. But um, one of the other things that um, we'll talk to you about is that um, because we live here on the coast, the ground is not great for gardening. So we did do um, a raised bed garden. Um, we got these from Lowe's and we just kind of went up and then got, um, put some soil in. We did learn some tips from a master gardener locally um, that we did um, a special blend of, dear help me, two parts garden soil, one part mushroom compost. That is correct. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, that seems to be the magic blend because we've never been successful with tomatoes and especially here on the coast apparently um, it's pretty rare to be this successful with um, tomatoes. So the mushroom compost I think was the magic touch. So two parts garden soil, one part mushroom compost and we just mix that all together with our own compost that we saved um, throughout the year and then we um, made the raised bed garden with that. So we planted all of this stuff. We'll just kind of go through and kind of tell you about it. Um, so over here we have um, basil, which we love, right, Jer? Mm -hmm. um, we use this love on it. everything. Um, Jer grills a lot, so we like to just come over here and pick it fresh. Um, of course, some chives and um, thyme and rosemary, and it's just nice to have that. We have some cilantro, we used it all. Um, this is really pick through. Um, it's kind of going bad now. The kale, um, we really picked and picked and ate and ate and ate. So I'm probably getting ready to pick this up. There's a weed. Um, I'm about to pull this up and then put actually some more cucumbers here, which um, our cucumbers on the other side are picked through too. Um, we can actually show them this there. <laughs> um, I work from home, so I eat um, salads every day for lunch, which is really nice because I can get a lot of the stuff in the garden. And I love cucumbers. So what was really nice is I could grow cucumbers and eat the cucumbers from the garden. So this has really been picked through. Um, I have a few more under there I can see, um, but because this has really been picked through and is almost done with the season, I'm gonna clear this out soon. Um, and I'll have some room there to, to plant some more vegetables, um, late summer vegetables, and then I'm gonna pull that kale up and probably do the same thing. So, okay, so then over here we have some more tomatoes. Um, so, we mentioned in another video that when we bought these plants, um, that the person who bought them from wasn't sure about what some of them were. So we have a crap ton of cherry tomatoes. Um, she also recommended that, you come over here, Jer. Um, she also recommended that one of the ways to kind of naturally keep some critters out was to plant some marigolds in between the tomatoes. So we did that. Um, these tomatoes were, of course, much smaller plants when we first started. Um, so <laughs> planting the marigolds in between them were just very, you know, they were all really spread out. So these things really took off. Um, so when I planted these sunflowers, which are gorgeous now, um, all of this just was very roomy. Um, and it's not so roomy now. So hindsight, you know, I probably wouldn't plant all this stuff in here so close together because I ended up having to get some bamboo sticks and tie some things back because the tomato plants were really taken over. Um, okay, so here we have some other beefy tomatoes that are coming along nicely, Jer. These are like your favorites. Yeah, yes, yeah, very um, good. So there's one in there that's probably ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's not coming off, so I'll probably leave it. 
Anyway, we have some other, some other beefy tomatoes that are coming through. Everything's organic. We haven't used any chemicals in here. Um, we plant, I mean, we pick all the weeds ourselves. Anything that we see that's, you know, kind of growing in there, we just kind of pull ourselves. That's kind of nice when you do like a little raised bed garden that's smaller. You just kind of go in and pick it yourself, you know? It's not that difficult to take care of. Um, okay, so over here, we have one of my faves, which is the eggplant. The little baby eggplant, which makes me so happy um, to see the eggplant coming along. Now, these have... These are kind of second wave. We had some, and then these are others. And then if you look back there, you see some other little baby eggplants, which is really nice. And then we have behind there, which we've been eating off of. And these look sad because we've been picking off of, or some peppers. Those are banana peppers. There's some more peppers coming along there. Oh, um, yeah. Some green peppers. Um, we love peppers here. Um, so, you know, the thing is, plant things that, of course, that grow well where you are, but you also want to plant things that you're going to eat. <laughs> you know, I think some people end up planting things that they think, oh, they'll grow, but they also don't plant things that they're actually going to eat. So, you know, you also want to plant things that you're going to eat or that you can share with your neighbors because that's what we're going to have to end up doing. Um, so... I think that's about it. If you have any other questions, let us know. But I think the biggest question we get is, how did you get your tomatoes to grow? <laughs> I think my mom kept telling me, you know, she knew we'd be successful if our tomatoes grew. And we have tomatoes every day. We have tomatoes. So I think we've been really successful. Right, Jer? Yes. Yes, yeah. indeed. So that's it. That's our little raised bed garden. Um, we're going to be planting some more things and we'll share that with you and we've been really fortunate. I think we're really excited with the way it turned out and with what's still coming. So anyway, good luck if you're planting yours and let us know how yours is going.